So hi everyone, I'm today in the Tongtaken Resort, which is one resort that not really ne never closed during the pandemic situation. And look at that guys, I didn't see the beach, a crystal bay like that for ages. Okay, it's not like super crowded, but look at that for the last year and a half I, when I came here it was always an empty beach but today as you can see there is a lot of people so it's all the people who came since 1st December with the test and go program which is unfortunately now suspended and uh, yeah we will have some news this Friday about it I'm quite scared that they will still suspend uh, the test and go program. Hopefully, some week will be a sandbox like Phuket, but we never know. Yeah, so I can see that the Crystal Yacht Club over there is open. Tong Taken is still open because they never closed. The Prom Souk Bodhi next door is now open, even the restaurant is open, which was closed for a long period. And the Silver Beach Resort is also open, the massage, the restaurant. The weather is pretty cool. We had a lot of rain in November, but December was quite a nice month. I'm really shocked guys, to see so many people, you know. I was there so many times without anyone on the beach. And right now, yeah, Silver Beach is packed of people around the swimming pool, the massage. There are, there are five ladies now who are making massage and the restaurant of Silver Beach is full. resort to be still closed at the moment is the Crystal Beach Resort right here. They are making renovations, still making renovation. And uh, yeah, I have no idea when they will open it again. The tide is quite high, but so normally here we can walk. But today, because of the tide, the tide is really high around the island for the moment because we are in winter time and it's always high tides. So if it was really a normal situation because it was Christmas and New Year, it would be more, much more people than now. But after the 18 months, almost two years without anyone, it's quite crazy to see so many people. Uh, it's really unbelievable for me, you know. I knew that it was uh, more people on the island, but uh, we didn't come. We didn't come, sorry, uh, on Crystal Bay. And to see it like that, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So now. I have my fingers crossed every day that we can have good news at least that like I told you Kosamu week will be in the sandbox program like Phuket you know 
and then people could come like and stay in seven nights in a SHA plus hotel and then to be free after seven nights and enjoy their holidays in Thailand. So yeah, let's see what will happen this Friday. Of course, if they suspend the test and go program and the summary will not be in the sandbox program, it will be a terrible and really sad news for the island. So right over there is the Crystal Yacht Club. And yeah, it's open, the restaurant is open. I'm sure the resort is open. Not full, of course, but around the pool and under the salad there, it's quite a lot of people. Everything is relative, guys, of course, compared to what it was a few months ago. I can say that it's quite a lot of people, which is nice. Okay guys, it was a quick walk around Crystal Bay just to show you that there were tourists on the island. So let's cross the fingers, all of them, uh, for some way to be in the sandbox program or who knows, maybe they will activate again the test and go program. So see you in the next on the next video please follow us on instagram and facebook also if you didn't subscribe to the channel uh, i will be really thankful for you to subscribe and click on the subscribe button right now and of course on the like button please it makes uh, me give me motivation to make more videos okay see you guys bye